deleting messages from your TSCT account. There's a lot of things uh, and features with email, but one of the most important is keeping your email messages cleaned up, uh, deleting things that you don't need anymore. Uh, reason for this is there's a limited amount of disk space, a lot of students, and therefore you are assigned a amount of disk space and if you exceed this amount you can't receive any more messages after you do that and so it's important to do this the other thing that's important to understand it's not the number of messages that you have it's actually the size of the messages and we'll talk about that first let's take a quick look um, you can see we have our email account up here I have some messages that are bold that I haven't read and here are some down here that I have read it's easy to delete a message um, if you're not interested in a message anymore you don't need it all you have to do is select the message come up here to the delete button click delete and the message is deleted the problem is that does not free up your disk space it just deletes the message from your inbox so um, before we move on to tell you about how to delete your messages for good to free up your space um, you can delete more than one message at a time if you hold the control key down you can select multiple messages I'm not going to delete them. If you hold the shift key down, select one at the top and scroll down, you can select a bunch of messages at one time. So here, if I hold the shift key down, I come down here, I can delete all those messages at one time. Just different ways to delete the message. Now, once your messages are deleted, they go into um, sort of like a uh, waste basket um, gives you a second chance to do it but if you come over here to the deleted items folder you'll see these are all the deleted messages that I have done in the past this number indicates that I have 159 if I come up here and go to empty and it says are you sure you want to delete all the items and subfolders in the deleted items folder what that will do is delete all of the email messages from the deleted items folder if I hit yes it takes a while you can see it works through it and eventually this is empty make sure you don't do this for your inbox um, some people get panicked at this point think they don't have any messages left you just have the deleted items folder selected and you deleted all the books go back to the inbox and select it and there you are again another thing about messages um, remember how we said it's not the amount of messages it's the size of messages and things that run up your messages are usually attachments like videos um, and pictures and things like that so those are the messages you really want to take care of and not save and get rid of them you can see I have this message here that says attachment mail message and you can tell it has an attachment because right over here in the right hand side is a paper clip if I scroll down through my messages um, we'll probably see yeah, quite a few uh, email messages with attachments those are the ones to really target for what's there this is quite a big message uh, the attachment one that I had up here it's a three megabyte attachment um, you're also limited in the amount of size of an attached file that you can send to another student or a person uh, as a student you're limited more than than the faculty members are so you could attach too big a mail message uh, file to a mail message and it won't send but if I go to this one I click delete and once again you'll notice it went to the deleted items folder so I didn't really clear up my disk space or save any disk space at this point I go to the deleted items folder and I say empty and say yes and I just freed up three megabytes of space which is a significant amount so that's how you take care of deleting files cleaning up your account uh, you want to do this on a regular basis um, 
on a, and, and make sure you're always deleting files that you don't need anymore. And last but not least, maybe semi-related to deleting, but there's some options. The new email version that we have gives us a lot of different things. So if I click on the options button and I say see all options, up will come a window with a menu on the left hand side. And if you look in here, there's a lot of cool options to play around with. Um, group options, settings, uh, you can create a signature to put at the bottom of all your email messages. But if you slide down through here and look at all these, um, there are a lot of pretty neat options. If you're away, you can have it uh, send a response message to people to tell them that you're away and you won't be able to answer. So these are all things you should take a look at. Um, and before I remember that rather than have deleted items go to the deleted um, item folder to be saved until you delete them a second time you could have them deleted directly so that might be an option you want to get out of options you just go up here to the top left hand side click on mail and that gets you back to the inbox also you'll note that you can create directories under your inbox where you can save mail messages to and you would have to delete um, individually from there also that should do it for cleaning up. Make sure you do it on a regular basis and you won't have any issues.